In today's video, I'll be sharing 11 unique and powerful ways to use ChatGPT. Let's dive right in. The first powerful use case for ChatGPT is its ability to explain difficult or complex subject matters. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT to explain the concept or topic that you're trying to learn more about, and it will immediately distill the main points into easy to read and understand explanations. You can even dive deeper and ask ChatGPT to create a study plan for you to learn more about that subject matter. The second powerful use case and potentially one of the most innovative ones being thrown around at the moment is ChatGPT's ability to write code. So you can actually ask the AI to write you code for a specific page or a specific website. So if you're writing code in Python or in JavaScript, it just makes this so easy. The code will probably need some tweaking, but it's great to start with a draft instead of starting from scratch. Now, a lot of people are aware that ChatGPT can help you write code, but did you know that you can use ChatGPT to help you create a bot that will allow you to automate tasks that you can do on the internet? For example, if you want to create a Twitter or Instagram bot, you can use ChatGPT to help you figure out the steps and code that it takes to create such a bot. All you would have to do is describe the bot that you would like to create. So for this example, I asked ChatGPT to create an Instagram bot that automatically likes a targeted set of posts from one Instagram account. And as you can see here, it actually gave me step-by-step -step instructions that I need to follow if I would like to create this bot. As you can see this is so powerful because if you have an idea for a bot or a software tool that you would like to create but really have no idea where to get started you can head over to ChatGPT, type that in there and you can start getting some initial steps and really understanding what it's going to take to create that product or service that you have in mind you can start the ideation process with ChatGPT and then send over that initial code to a software engineer to help build that tool out for you that you have in mind the next use case for ChatGPT is its ability to create custom marketing plans. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT to create that plan for you and with the right prompt, context and detail, it can create a really comprehensive plan. I asked ChatGPT to create a content strategy plan for my Instagram account and I actually got a pretty comprehensive plan here. One thing I did was that I defined my target market, my goals for the account, my preferred content types and a posting schedule I'd like to follow. And ChatGPT has created a really decent editorial calendar for me here. The next super powerful use case for ChatGPT is a fun one and that's its ability to create customized meal plans and workout plans. Once again, the more detail you can include such as your body composition, your dietary goals or your dietary restrictions, your preferences, the more information you can provide it, the better the plan is going to be. So in this example, I asked ChatGPT to create a customized workout plan for a 5 foot 7 female weighing 120 pounds that wants to lose 10 pounds and as you can see here I got a pretty decent workout plan which I can start with and as I said you can then ask it to create a meal plan and you can specify the caloric intake the type of diet like keto or vegan and any foods you want to include or leave out like if you hate fish for example okay next super powerful use case of chat GPT is to use it like an AI copywriter so whether you need to write website content blogs social media captions landing pages or email campaigns Chains. ChatGPT can help you with all of that and you can even ask it to follow specific writing, writing frameworks such as ADA or PAS. If you'd really like to unlock the power of ChatGPT in this way then you have to check out my Limitless Prompt Pack which I'll link in the description. I've compiled a list of hundreds of prompts to basically delegate all your marketing tasks to ChatGPT. So you can use that for yourself in your own business or in your own career or you can even use it to offer services to clients. That's nice. The next super powerful use case of ChatGPT is summarizing content. Let's say you have loads of notes from a lecture or a meeting you attended, or even a transcription from a video or a voice conversation or a Zoom meeting. All you need to do is copy paste that into ChatGPT, ask it to summarize it, and you can even specify the length you wanted to summarize it to or what you want to use the summary for. So maybe it's an email you want to send out to your boss, letting them know what you discussed in the meeting, or maybe 
study notes that you're compiling for your upcoming exams. Next up is a SWOT analysis. Let's say you want to understand what the competitive landscape in your market looks like and you want to compile a list of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of your competitors. ChatGPT can do this for you and one little known trick that not many people know is that you can ask ChatGPT to reply in table or matrix format. Now one thing I want to point out about this is that ChatGPT has very little knowledge of anything more recent than 2020. So if you'd like more relevant information about your competitors, then you're better off using a chatbot like ChatSonic, which is like ChatGPT, but it's connected to the internet and therefore can provide you with the most up-to-date results. I'll leave you a link to try out ChatSonic in the description. The next powerful use case for ChatGPT is kind of broad that it, and it includes a lot of different things and that's its ability to write anything from essays to blog posts, poems, song lyrics, screenplays, emails and WhatsApp messages. Simply let ChatGPT know what you want it to write, how long it should be, what it should be about and the person who will be reading it, so the intended audience. It can even help you to write books. If you've ever been interested in being a published author or writing a book, you can use ChatGPT to write any kind of book and then self-publish it on Amazon KDP. Now, if you want to write a non-fiction book, I really recommend looking at Jasper AI for this. The user interface will just be a lot easier for you to write and build out your book than ChatGPT. I will leave you a link in the video description for you to try out Jasper. And if you're looking to write a fiction book or a story, I would really recommend an AI tool for this called Pseudorite, which is designed specifically for fiction writers. And this will help you write your story framework, building characters, planning story arcs, and so on. I'll also leave a link for you to try that below the video. Next powerful use case is using ChatGPT to help you prepare for an interview. You can prompt ChatGPT to act as an interviewer for a specific role. Give ChatGPT the name of the role and some information about it, and then prompt it to ask you questions that the interviewer might ask you in this case. If you're not sure how to answer a specific question, you can even ask ChatGPT to help you formulate the best possible answer. This will allow you to make notes and go into the interview 100% prepared to rock it. In the same vein, you can use ChatGPT to create a professional resume and cover letter for you. You can start by asking ChatGPT what information it needs from you to generate a professional resume, and then once you give it all the required information, it will generate a professional resume in no time. After that, you can then ask it to write a professional cover letter for the same role. But remember that the clearer you are with your instructions and the more detail you can give, the better the results are going to be. The final use case and Probably the most controversial one would be to use ChatGPT for legal advice. So if you're in some kind of dispute, going through a legal battle, or you just need some legal advice, you can ask those specific questions to ChatGPT and it will be able to give you some answers. Now, of course, you need to be careful when you're getting legal advice from an AI because some of the information will probably be incorrect or outdated. So you obviously need to make sure that you're vetting that information with a professional. However, it can be be a really good way to just get some high level information and inform yourself. Now there is even a specific AI tool for this, it's a robo lawyer called Do Not Pay and this AI tool has actually been trained on thousands of legal documents and can provide much more sound legal advice and even fight disputes for you like parking tickets or rent disagreements. I'll leave you a link to check out that tool below. The list of unique and powerful ways to use ChatGPT goes on and on, I mean there's hundreds, maybe even thousands of ways, but that's it from me in this video. If you're interested in more of those ways, then check out this video where I share 15 powerful ways to make money with ChatGPT. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more AI and ChatGPT tr tricks and tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.